The U.S. has come forward and assured India it will provide all assistance, including life-saving medical supplies to the country to help South Asian nation beat the deadly pandemic. India is currently battling its second wave of coronavirus. On Sunday, U.S. President Joe Biden tweeted that just as India sent assistance to the U.S. as our hospitals were strained early in the pandemic, we are determined to help India in its time of need. Vice President of U.S. Kamala Harris, she also ex reacted to India's worsening crisis. Echoing Biden's statement, Harris said, U.S. is working closely with the Indian government to rapidly deploy additional support and supplies during an alarming COVID-19 outbreak. As we provide assistance, we pray for people of India, including its courageous healthcare workers. The tweets are the first reactions by the top American leadership after recent outbreak of deadly COVID-19 pandemic in India. In the last few days, the two leaders faced criticism for their slow response to the natural ally. On Sunday, India's National Security Advisor Ajit Doval spoke to his American counterpart, during which the White House announced it is urgently sending medical supplies and equipment to save lives in India. The statement released by Sullivan's spokesperson, it highlighted that U.S. will urgently provide raw material needed by Serum Institute of India to produce Covishield vaccine. This comes after Serum Institute sent out multiple tweets to U.S. President Joe Biden in the last few weeks, urging President to allow export of raw material required for production of COVID-19 vaccine in India. And Vyond correspondent Jagruti Dave is joining us live from Washington, D.C. Uh, thank you for joining us, Jagruti. First question to you is the U.S. will immediately send raw material for COVID-19 vaccines medical equipment after somewhat delaying initially. What more have you gathered on it? Yes, um, you know, the United States was facing uh, a lot of criticism, as you said, for uh, not lifting its export ban on raw materials sooner. Um, now it has finally done so and it will, uh, says the, the US says that it is going to send, it has identified sources of uh, these materials that would enable India to manufacture the Covishield vaccine. It's also looking into sources of oxygen, uh, another uh, product which is in short supply in India. And and uh, it says it's also going to send therapeutics, rapid diagnostic test kits, ventilators and personal protective equipment. Um, the Biden administration is also facing pressure to donate some of its stockpile of AstraZeneca jabs. Uh, this jab has not yet been approved in the United States. Um, and so I think the, United, the US is facing um, you know, growing pressure to deploy those. Uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci, top infe infectious diseases expert, um, said that uh, the U.S. is actively considering this, but uh, this is an official policy and the White House has not commented at all on such a move um, yet. And to the U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, he spoke to his Indian counterpart Ajit Doval yesterday, assuring all help to India. What more in terms of assistance can be expected from the U.S. in the coming days? Yeah, I think um, other than uh, what was outlined in that statement sent by uh, the uh, White House outlining the de delivery uh, of personal protective equipment, those raw materials to um, allow India to start manufacturing more vaccines, um, I think what you're going to see is um, something that intimated by the U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, who has also said he's uh, directed the Defense Department to use every resource at their disposal to support U.S. interagency efforts to rapidly provide India's frontline health workers with the materials they need. So the Defense Department is assessing the equipment they can get uh, from their own invent inventory as well as they can acquire from elsewhere in the next days and weeks, and they're going to try uh, and provide what Lloyd Austin said is uh, transportation and logistics assistance to deliver needed supplies to India. And this is including oxygen related equipment and as we mentioned rapid, te rapid testing kits and personal protective equipment. And Jagrati, my last question to you is AstraZeneca's vaccine is not yet approved in the US which has stockpiled millions of doses now. Is the Biden administration considering to share the jabs with needy nations including India to help speed up their inoculation process? 
Yeah, as I just mentioned, um, the White House has not officially commented on this, although uh, top infectious disease expert, White House advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci, did address this, saying that it was being actively considered. But again, this is not official uh, policy yet. This is um, you know, a comment made by Dr. Anthony Fauci in a news interview. Uh, but yes, the Biden administration is facing more and more pressure from uh, you know, Indian Americans, from lawmakers within the country who are urging uh, the Biden administration to do more, uh, including uh, deploying those stockpiles of AstraZeneca jabs. Well, thanks, Dr. for joining us and getting us all these details right from Washington, D.C. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.